Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I've got an awesome tip that I want to share with you so you can add it to your tip tool belt. When it comes to rust removal, there's lots of ways you can remove rust, but most of them involve really expensive chemicals or really invasive grinding. You know, you remove a lot of really good metal in order just to remove the rust. And I've got a method that, although not the safest method, it is very doable if you're cautious and careful, right? So let me share this with you. In fact, I shouldn't. I should probably just keep it to myself because I think it's that good. But I'm not gonna. I will share it with you because you're special. So you can see the bottom of this bedside has a ton of little rock chips and stuff in it. And in each one of those, we've got some rust. And we don't want to just paint over top of that. And we can't really sand that off because by the time we got to the bottom of all the rust, we would have reduced the bedside thickness by at least half. So we want to get rid of that without, without being too invasive. So let me show you the method that we're going to use to get to the bottom of each one of these little rust pits and remove that to perfectly clean sheet metal so we can paint over top of this and it'll be like it never happened. So the method I'm about to show you is not the safest method. So if you're not comfortable working with chemicals and stuff, find a different way. But what we're going to be using is a pretty strong acid. It's muriatic acid. They use it for etching concrete and stuff like that. You can pick it up at your local hardware store. The stuff fumes pretty bad, so you want to do it in a well-ventilated area. Do it outside away from anything that you care about because the fumes will, you know, carry in the air and settle on things that you don't want acid on and will cause corrosion. So all the proper safety gear, face shield, gloves, do your own research. Don't do this if you're not comfortable. So the way we're going to start is by mixing up a concentration of baking soda and water. Really pretty stout. We want quite a bit of baking soda in this water and that's what we will use to wipe on the panels after we're done applying the acid because we've got to neutralize that acid, stop it from working basically. So pan full of water, rag, baking soda, acid, and a way to apply it to your panel or whatever. Um, so let's go over here and get started. You'll see what I mean. This works amazing, but you have to be very careful when you're doing it. So I've soaked a paper towel in a little bit of that muriatic acid, and all I'm gonna do is just wipe it on the panel here. I've got a safety glasses on, right? I've noted the direction of the wind. It's blowing away from me. And I'm just gonna wipe it on this panel that's it, right? That's all. That's all I'm going to do. Look at it steaming there or fuming. That's why you want to be really careful. You know, not do this inside around anything you care about. And once I'm done, right, I can uh, just soak all of this down with the uh, bacon soda and water, and that'll stop the reaction. But look how it's removing the rust. I mean, this is real time. Right, not speeding it up or anything. It's just getting down to the bottom of each one of those little rust pits. It's really bad right here. I don't want to get my camera too close to this. Like I say, not the safest method, but man, does it ever work good. Not even, not attacking the primer or anything that's on here, just pretty much the rust. Now there's lots of ways you could apply this. You could just wet a paper towel, lay it on the surface, and then cover it up with maybe some uh, plastic wrap to just keep the, the area damp. But I find that if it's not real heavy rust pitting, you know, you can just wipe it off with a paper towel like I'm doing here. So I've been wiping this going on probably three, maybe four minutes, I'm guessing. Less than five minutes for sure. And we've almost got it all gone. So let's just, just for demonstration purposes, let's say that we, that we do. So now you can see my water. It's a bit rusty colored. 
because I've been doing this a little bit. And uh, we're going to wipe this down and neutralize that acid. We want to stop that acid from working. That way it doesn't continue to eat away. And this baking soda and water does a excellent job. And then to keep it from flash rusting, we need to make sure that it's dried you know, as, as fast as possible. But that's it. That is my rust removal method. It works amazing. So I'll get you a little closer shot of that. I'm not sure how well it shows up from there, but it's pretty much rust free. To the bottom of every rust pit, basically, right? We didn't spend all the time in the world, probably five minutes on this, no joke. And all of the rust is gone. It would have cost more to use one piece of sandpaper than what it costs financially to use a one paper towel soaked with the muriatic and uh, you know wiping it back and forth for a few minutes. A little bit of baking soda once we're done to neutralize it. You wanna make sure to do that, dry it off really well so it doesn't immediately flash rust. And that's it, right? This panel could be painted now and you would be 100% confident that there is no rust in it. Right? Not at the bottoms of the little pits like you get when you just sand over the tops of stuff. You didn't remove a bunch of excess metal. You didn't create a bunch of heat. It is a great method, although you know, it does have the drawback that you have to be very careful doing it. But you see the results, right? That is just paint. So, works amazingly well. Well, there you go. You've seen it with your own eyes. It like removes it like that. Not the safest method, but it is probably the cheapest and one of the best that I've seen personally. Know the risks involved, wear the proper gear. It can be done safely just like what you've seen me do, but know that there are risks involved in doing it this way. You could spend two hours right with sandpaper and stuff, but you still wouldn't get as good a job as that mirror attic does. It gets to the bottom of every single rust pit. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, anybody who's helped me out whatsoever. Much appreciated. And I'll see you next time.